afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rick Phillips for CampusNation.com, the sports animal, and we are live from the campus of Wilmington High School. We are at Fred Summers Court, the middle school gym, for the second annual Wilmington Scholastic Play-by-Play. -play. I've got A.J. Ganger, yours truly, Rick Phillips, and Roger Thompson on camera today. Uh, obviously, we have three games going on today, six teams. Wilmington will be in the nightcap against uh, Middletown and uh, the other two games uh, the first game that we're going to be bringing you here shortly will be between the Stivers Tigers and the Kings Knights yep the next game will be the big game, I guess you could say, of the night, considering the number one defending uh, state uh, champion in Division I basketball, the Wayne Warriors from the G-Walk. You and I are very familiar with that uh, yep. league, right, AJ? Yep. Uh, they will be playing a Jackson team, which I think suffered a loss last night, 12-3, uh, and three, we believe. Yep. So anyway, uh, the, uh, the Jackson team, uh, they're the Polar Bears. So we've got the Tigers, the Knights, the Polar Bears, the Warriors, the Middies, and of course, the Wilmington Hurricane. And uh, that's what we've got coming up for you. I'm going to be leaving here shortly. I'll be back in a little while. I've got to go back over and wrap up our college broadcast over at Wilmington College. And as a program note, just want to remind you that this coming week, we have a very busy schedule. On the uh, 1st of February, we've got girls high school basketball. Hillsboro will play a makeup game with Wilmington here, and that'll start at 645. Then on the second, we've got a boys basketball game, St. Francis de Sales out of Columbus. The Stallions will come in to play Wilmington. That game will start at 7.15. On the third, we have women's college basketball. The Ohio Northern Polar Bears will be in to face the Wilmington Fighting Quakers. That game is going to be a 7.15 start on the 3rd of February. And uh, we'll fill out the rest of the schedule here a little later. I'm going to let A.J. Uh, I'm going to hand it off to him. I'm going to head over to the college. AJ, I will be back hopefully by about 5 o'clock with some coffee so I can get rid of this coffee headache I got. You yeah, got that caffeine headache. I got that caffeine. That's right. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, Rick. And uh, we are about 12 minutes away from getting the second annual Wilmington Scholastic play-by-play -play -play classic underway here from Fred Summers Court, beautiful Wilmington High School Middle School gym. Again, I'm AJ Ganger. Rick Phillips will be back here momentarily. We got Roger Thompson doing all of our video for everybody. And the video for this, uh, these three games will be available on demand on our CampusNation.com website uh, tomorrow afternoon as well as the college game that is happening right now. If you haven't had a chance to listen to that, go to the other channel real quick, finish up listening to that ball game, and get yourself ready for this Three games of high school boys basketball here from Fred Summers Court. Again, at 4.45, we're tipping off with our first game of the evening with Stivers taking on Kings. At 6.30, Jackson takes on defending Division I state champion Uber Heights Wayne. And to cap things off at 8.15, Middletown taking on Wilmington. And again, these are approximate game starting times for game number two and game number three, depending on how long all these games last. Coming into today's ball game, Stivers has a 7-8 and eight record. Stivers is coached by Felix Turner. We'll tip off the second annual Wilmington Scholastic play-by-play -play against the Knights with a 7-8 and eight overall record. Throughout the 2015-2016 season, the most consistent player for the Tigers has been senior Isaiah Williams. Williams is a 6'7", 230-pound forward slash center. Is, leading, is the leading scorer and rebounder for Stivers, averaging 20 points and 10 rebounds per game. He is a dominant force in the post and is nearly impossible to guard one-on-one -on -one when he receives the ball underneath the basket. His rebounding has been key all year long for the Tigers, grabbing boards that kept that keep alive possessions for the team, limiting second-chance opportunities for the opponents. Williams is committed to play at Akron University next year. The backcourt for Coach Turner is led by seniors Joey Williams and Andre Halls. Williams is a 6'3", 165 shooting guard and is the second leading scorer for the Tigers, averaging 15 points a game. Halls is a 5'10", 130 pound, 130 pound guard who is leading the team 
who leads the team in assists, averaging over three per game to go along with 10 points a night, which ranks third on the Stivers team. For Kings, the Knights are coming into today's ball game 10 and 5 on the year. Head coach Mike Stevens is in his 18th season at Kings. Will lead his clubs against the Tigers with a 10 and 5 overall record. Unlike Stivers, the three most dependable players for Kings is by a trio of underclassmen that have played tremendously all season for the Knights. The top two scorers in the of this year for Coach Stevens are juniors Tyler Mitchell and Clay Spivey. Mitchell's a six-foot point guard and is tied for the team lead in scoring with his backcourt mate Spivey averaging 13.4 points a game. Mitchell also leads the team in assists with 4.1 assists per game. Mitchell for the season is shooting 43% from the field as well as 76% from the free throw line. Mitchell, who has been offered by Ashland University, has received entrance interest from Division I and II programs. Spivey's a 6'2 shooting guard, is, out, is also averaging 13.4 points a game and is a top three-point threat on the Knights roster. Spivey is shooting over 55% from three-point range and will make a defense pay if they give him space on the court. A top front court man for Kings is fellow junior Matt uh, Schittleman, the six-foot forward is the third leading scorer for the Knights, averaging eight points a game while shooting 63% from the field. Scheidelman is the team's top rebounder, averaging over four per game and will, and, and will, in charge, will be in charge of trying to limit Williams' touches in the post. Scheidelman has, also, ex ex has a, also excelled on the football field as an offensive lineman. The Division One recruiters received many heavy offers and interests from Miami University in Ohio, Toledo, and Cincinnati. This should provide a highly entertaining matchup in the post between Williams and Scheidelman for the duration of this contest. About under eight minutes to go. Here before we tip this game off, getting our starting lineups underway. Stivers coming into today's game. They'll be wearing their away uniforms. They'll be the guest for this first game. They're wearing all orange uniforms with black numbers and numerals with the Nike swish, I believe, on the uniforms as well. Kings will be wearing their home uniforms. They're all white with blue trim and red numbers with Kings written on the front of their jerseys. Seven minutes, 20 seconds away from getting tip-off and everything underway here from Fred Summers Court for the second annual Wilmington Scholastic Play-by-Play -play Classic. Last season, we had the matchup uh, with, between Huber Heights, Wayne, and Wilmington capping things off. Wilmington with an exciting three-point win on that one, 66-63, I believe. Wilmington beat the, the then... Uh, runners up in Division One, but Wayne would go on to win the Division One State Basketball Championship last season, and Wilmington would fall in the district finals to Moeller, who they lost to uh, last weekend by three points, I believe, was that lost. That video for that, or actually no, because we did not cover that game, but I know there's a highlight video somewhere that I think Rick put up there, or some highlight audio uh, also from that game. Wilmington is 16-1 this year. We'll talk more about these games when we get ready to tip off. The last two games, we will be a pregame 15 minutes before game time. And again, the approximate start times for game two and game three between Jackson and Huber Heights is 6.30. And Middletown and Wilmington is 8.15. Those are approximate game starts. I believe they're going to give the teams at least 20 minutes in between games to warm up as Kings and Stivers are both on the court now warming up. Roger Thompson's on our video and Rick Phillips is off to Wilmington College right now getting all of the equipment picked up from our other broadcast this afternoon over there at Wilmington College between the Lady Quakers. And again, like Rick said, we've got a busy week ahead of us here on CampusNation.com, the sports animal. It's also your home for high school and college sports. Today, Heidelberg, the student princes, uh, the lady princesses, I should say, for Heidelberg were over there at the, actually, that was the men's college basketball game. I thought that was women's college basketball. But there's still the Heidelberg student princesses 
Um, I went to college at Wilmington, and that's what we called them, were the student princesses instead of the princes. Uh, you know, that game was going on here earlier on today, and also we've got the three games this afternoon of boys' high school basketball. On Monday, February the 1st, girls' high school basketball is Hillsborough coming in here to take on the Lady Hurricane in a makeup game. That game was supposed to happen a couple weeks ago, and it got postponed till February the 1st. On February the 2nd, on Tuesday, Groundhog Day, boys' high school basketball, St. Francis de Sales coming in here to take on the Wilmington Hurricane in what should be a great high school basketball boys matchup. Wednesday night, women's college basketball, the Polar Bears of Ohio Northern coming in to take on their OAC rivals, the Wilmington Lady Quakers in college basketball action on February the 5th. Boys high school basketball as Wilmington travels to Chillicothe to take on the Cavaliers in boys high school basketball action. Next Saturday, one week from today, men's college basketball, Marietta, the Pioneers coming in to take on the Wilmington Fighting Quakers. And also later on that night, Cincinnati Christian coming in to take on the Lady Hurricane in girls high school basketball here live from Fred Summers Court. The following week on February the 8th, boys high school basketball, we've got Clinton Massey traveling to Greenfield McLean to take on the Tigers. We'll be broadcasting that game on the 8th of February. And then on the 9th of February, boys high school basketball, East Clinton Astros taking on the Cedarville Indians over there at the East Clinton home court just down the road here from Wilmington. On February the 10th, next uh, two weeks from Wednesday, or a week from Wednesday, I should say, the Cardinals of Otterbein taking on the Lady Quakers in women's college basketball. On February the 11th, boys high school basketball is the Courthouse Blue Lions coming to take on the top sixth ranked Wilmington Hurricane boys basketball team. On February the 13th, Valentine's Day weekend, ladies and gentlemen. We've got men's college basketball, Baldwin Wallace taking on the Wilmington Fighting Quakers. And later on that day in Springfield, the Wilmington Hurricanes taking on the Springfield Wildcats to tip off the close the 2015-2016 season for the Hurricane. On February the 17th, men's college basketball with the Muskies of Muskingum taking on the Wilmington men's basketball team. And to close out our schedule right now on our website, February the 20th, Mount Union taking on the Lady Quakers of Wilmington in women's college basketball. Just about 2 minutes, 23 seconds away from getting things tipped off and ready to go. Here from the second annual Wilmington Scholastic Play-by-Play -play Classic here live from Fred Summers Court on a beautiful January the 30th, 2016. It's about 60 degrees outside, so if you haven't been outside all day long, you might want to get out there while there's still some daylight. I know Roger was out there tanning earlier. He had his his sun visor out there laying in his yard, tanning with his swimsuit on, whatever he likes to wear to go out there and tan. It was a beautiful day to drive down here to Wilmington, just like it is every single weekend, as Campus Nation covering all the local high school and college sports here in the Clinton County, Fayette County area. Minute 35 as we get ready for our starting lineups and tip-off here from Fred Summers Court. Live on CampusNation.com, the sports animal, your home for high school and college sports. I'm going to turn it over to the announcer here at Wilmington High School as we'll get all the pregame festivities underway. Thank you. 
professional angle. Starting lineups for both teams for Stivers, number three, Halls, number 12, Clark, number 15, Williams, number 23, Williams, and number 32, Bodie, for Kings, number one, or yes, number one, Scheidelman, number two, Bezbrock, number 10, Mitchell, number 11, Burnside, and number 52, Bettinghouse. We are getting ready and underway here, We're eight minutes on the clock for the first quarter of play as the second annual Scholastic Play-By-Play -play Classic is underway here from Fred Summers Court. The ball's in the air, the tip goes straight to Stivers and right into the hands of Miles Clark to begin the game. Clark dribbling on the wing, gives it off to number three, Halls. Halls gives it to 15, Williams, the big man. Williams trying to make his move, goes Nice drive by Williams, and he scores the first points of the ball game to give Stivers a 2-0 lead. Some pressure being showed now by Stivers down the floor. Ball given off to number 11, Burnside. Two pointers up and good. Nice jumper by number 10, Tyler Mitchell, for two points. And both teams on our first possession get some points. Williams kicks it back outside to number 12, Clark. Back over to Williams. Big man gives it off to number 32, Bodie. Two pointers, no good. And a whistle and a foul, I believe, against Kings. Number 52, Bettinghouse charged with the foul. That's his first and the team's first of the quarter. Inbound pass coming into number 23, Williams. Gave it back to Isaiah Williams. Now over to number three, Alls. Seven minutes to go in our first quarter. Two to two is our score. Halls gives it to Isaiah Williams. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound. Kings almost had it. Knocked it out of bounds, and it's going to stay with Stivers. Number 12, Clark will be inbounding it from the far side. Gets it into Isaiah Williams. Back to Clark. Now Clark's going to run the offense. He's with the Williams. Nice pass inside, but it's stolen away by Stivers as number two, Bezbrock. Stole it away, and the ball goes out of bounds. It'll stay with Kings. Strong, 
Kings will inbound from underneath Stivers' basket. Well, Stivers will inbound. Comes into Halls. Halls drives, puts up the one-hander, no good. Rebound is pulled down by Clark. Gives it back out to Williams and now back to Clark. Williams sets the pick. Clark giving it off to Halls. Halls hands it off to number 23, Joey Williams. Williams gives it back to Halls. 6.18 to go first quarter. 2-2 two two is our score. Halls dribbling out on top. Gives it off to number 23, Joey Williams. Williams to Isaiah Williams. Gives it off to Clark. Clark dumps it inside. Williams goes up with the basket, and he's going to get called for a travel. So a long possession for Stivers after the turnover turns into no points, and now Kings will finally get the ball back here as number 10, Mitchell, will dribble it all the way up the floor. Stops, tried to make a pass, and it's stolen away by the big Isaiah Williams. Now Bodie gave it to Williams, and he's going to travel again. And another turnover for Stivers. 5.48 to go in our first quarter. Still 2-2 two to two here between Kings and Stivers. Number two, Besbrock brings it up for Kings, gives it to Mitchell. Mitchell will hand it off to number one, Scheidelman. Two-point shot, no good by Besbrock. Now on the other end, coast to coast, Halls takes it in for an easy two points. And Stivers back out on top, four to two, with 5.20 to go in our first quarter as Mitchell takes it across half court, being pressured. Dribbling it out on top, gives it off to number 11, Burnside. Now over to number one, Scheidelman. Scheidelman drives, goes up with the shot. Good on the bucket, no fouls were called. And we're tied up at four here with five to go in the first quarter. Number 23, Joey Williams. Gave it off to number 12, Clark. Now over to Isaiah Williams. Four to four. Gave it off to Bodie. Now Halls dumps it inside, back outside. Three-pointer for Halls is good. Nothing but net on that one for Halls, and it's a three-pointer. And now Cybers jumps out to a three-point lead, seven to four. Besbrock dribbling. Gives it off to Mitchell. Mitchell trying to make his move inside. Kicks it back outside to Besbrock. Now back over to Mitchell in the corner. Thought about a three. Drives. Kicks it back outside. Two-point shot is no good. And the rebound is pulled down by Joey Williams. They're going to run with it. Halls for three. No good. Rebound is pulled down by Miles Clark. And Stivers maintaining possession here with 4.03 to go. In the first quarter of play, 7 to 4. Stivers in the lead. Halls with the basketball. Gives it off to Williams. Isaiah Williams cut off on the drive. Now gives it off to Joey Williams. Gives it off to number 12, Miles Clark. Over to Halls. Back to Isaiah Williams. Williams, jumper, got it. Made that one look easy there, did Williams. And now it's 9-4, five-point lead for the Tigers. Mitchell with the ball. Gets a pick from the big man. Now gives it off to Burnside. Back over to Mitchell. Mitchell, three-pointer is nothing but net. For number 10, Tyler Mitchell. And it's now 9-7. Cut the cap down to two points. Tigers still in the lead here over the Knights. Halls gave it off to number 23, Clark or Williams, who gives it to Clark. Gave it off to Isaiah Williams now on the wing. Trying to make his moves. Gives it off to number three, Halls. Dribbling back out on top. Drive. Nice spin to the basket. No good on the shot. The putback tip is no good. And there's a foul. Number one, Dan Scheidelman charged with his first foul and the team's second into the ball game. Number 23, David Freddy for Kings. Shooting two at the line, number 32, Tony Bodie for the Tigers. Yeah. 
First shot is up and good. Also coming into the ball game, number 33, Matt Scheidelman. Second shot here for Bodie. Is up and good. Two for two at the line. To make it 11 to seven, a four point lead for the Tigers here over the Knights right now on game one of three. Mitchell gives it off to the newly entered Brady. Trap gives it back to Mitchell. Mitchell drives, gives it off. Three pointers up, no good. That one bounced around, but Burnside with the rebound and the put back for two. And nearly stolen away on the other side of the court by Bezbrock. But he knocks it out of bounds. It's going to stay with Stivers. Number 12, Clark. Gives it off to Halls. Two minutes to play in the first quarter. Halls drives. Try to kick it outside. He does. Three-pointer by Bodie is no good. Rebounded by Mitchell and the Knights. Mitchell takes it down the floor. Gives it off. The number two, Bezbrock, drives. Layup, no good. Rebound pulled down by Bodie. Bodie, step up, jumper. That one's short, no good. Rebound pulled down by number 23, Bredy. And now Bezbrock has it on the other end. Almost got trapped. Gave it off to Burnside. Kicks it back out to Mitchell. Wide open. Three. No good. Ball's loose, and it's going to stay with Kings as Isaiah Williams couldn't pull it down. Coming into the ball game, Jaron Smith for Stivers. Comes in for number 12, Clark. And number 33, Cameron Clay for Stivers. Kings the inbound. Mitchell trying to find somebody. Gets it in to Burnside. Burnside makes his move. Goes up with a jumper. No good. Rebound was pulled down by Scheidelman. The basket and the foul. And he'll have a chance for a three-point play. Number 33 charged with a foul. Cameron Clay. Excuse me, number 23, Joey Williams, his first team's first. Now to take the lead here for Kings. Shot is up. No good. Rebound by Isaiah Williams, and we're tied at 11 here with 1.15 to go in the first. Williams gives it off to number four, Smith. Smith over to 33, Clay. Gets it in to Williams. Back over to Clay, now over to Smith. Back to Isaiah Williams. Under a minute to play in the first. Williams moving it around here. Stivers, Halls with the basketball. Three-pointer from the wing is no good in and out. Ball's loose, and it's going to stay with Stivers as number 30, Keenan Williams, couldn't keep it in balance for the Knights. Williams gets the inbound. Gives it off to Smith. And the shot no good. Rebounded by Burnside. Burnside kicks it out. Number 23, Bretty gives it off to number 30, Williams. And gives it back to Bretty. Back over to Williams. Back over to Bretty. Eight seconds to go in the quarter. Bretty drives, goes up, easy layup is good. Off the glass for two points. And now Jaron Smith will throw a shot up at the buzzer that will not count. And Stivers at the end of the first quarter has a two point, or excuse me, Kings has a two point lead over Stivers here at the end of one, 13 to 11. You're listening to Live Boys High School Basketball on CampusNation.com, the sports animal. Your home for high school and college sports. I just thought I would help you. Sick. 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 He needs all the help. I need all the help I 
Quarter break is over. It is 13 to 11. Stivers is in the, or Kings is in the lead. Brady will inbound as Kings will begin with the basketball to begin the second quarter. Going left to right. As Keenan Williams gets the inbound. Picks it up, gives it off to Mitchell. Nice backdoor pass for two off the glass. And Kings has a four point lead now, 15 to 11, as Isaiah Williams will bring the ball up the floor. Now, Jaron Smith gives it back to Isaiah Williams. Gives it off to 33, Clay, and then back over to Joey Williams. Now back to Jaron Smith. Smith over to Joey Williams. Williams gives it off to Halls out on top. 7.20 to go in the first half. Isaiah Williams with the ball. Gives it off to Clay, pump fake, and he traveled. So a costly turnover by Stivers as they get no points on another long possession. And it's now 15 to 11, still Kings in the lead. With 7.12 to go in the first half. Tyler Mitchell bringing up the floor, 2-1-2. Stivers defense right now. Keenan Williams is trapped. Got to get out of it. He does to Burnside. Now Burnside getting trapped. Dribbles away. Throws it off to Keenan Williams. Or to Bretty. Bretty with the jumper. No good. Williams tried to follow up. Could not. Rebounded by Isaiah Williams. Williams looking to go coast to coast. And he does for two points. And it's now 15 to 13. Kings in the lead and a bad pass by Mitchell goes out of bounds. He was trying to find Keenan Williams underneath in the post. And the ball is going back to Stivers here. 15 to 13. Kings in the lead with 6.35 to go in our first half. Back in the ball game is Miles Clay. Clark for Stivers. Jaron Smith brings it up the floor, gives it off to Isaiah Williams. Now to Clay. Clay over to Clark. Puts it inside to Williams. He's trapped. Gives it back out to Clark. Clark back to Williams. Back to Clark. On the wing. Williams in the corner. Looking to make his move and he can't. Gives it back off to Clark. Back to Williams. Three pointer from the corner is up. No good. Rebounded by Mitchell. And here come the Knights down the floor. Mitchell gives it off, Burnside for three, up and in and out, no good, bad luck. Ball's kicked, and it goes out of bounds, and it'll go back to Stivers. Good hustle by Bretty. Inbound comes into Jaron Smith, as he'll bring it up the floor for the Tigers. 5.48 to go in the first half. Jared Smith gives it off to Joey Williams. He'll give it off to Isaiah Williams and hands it off to Miles Clark. Back over to Williams. Well, Isaiah Williams makes his move, goes up, makes that one look easy on the drive for two points. And we're tied up again at 15-15. Other end of the floor, Keenan Williams throws it over cross court. So Mitchell for two, jumper, oh man, no good. Bad luck there again for Tyler Mitchell, no good. Isaiah Williams throws it off to Clay, will give it right back to him. Over to Jared Smith. Got a pick. Smith nearly lost the ball, gives it off to Joey Williams. And this one. Nearly stolen away by Keenan Williams. The ball goes out of bounds. Jake Bettinghouse coming back into the ball game for Kings and Tony Bodie into the ball game for Stivers. As Miles Clerk gets the inbound pass for the Tigers, gives it off to Isaiah Williams on the wing. And gives it off to Bodie. Now to Joey Williams. Good defense all day here by the Knights, not letting him get down low. Isaiah Williams with the ball in the corner. Gives it off to Joey Williams, three-pointer from the top. Nothing but net for Joey Williams. Three-pointer. And Stivers back out to a three-point lead now, 18 to 15. Scheidelman to Bettinghouse. 
Gives it off to Bez Brock. Over to Keenan Williams. Now over to Mitchell. Three-pointer from the wing. Mitchell nails one of his own. Nothing but net there. And we're tied up at 18 with four minutes to go here in the first half. Miles Clark with it out on top. Gives it off to Jaron Smith. Smith drives, gets it blocked, but he's going to be fouled in the process, I believe, by Keenan Williams. That's his first of the team's third of the half. And Jaron Smith will be shooting two from the line. First shot for Smith is up and good. Burnside coming back into the ball game for Kings. Second shot for Jaron Smith. Is up and good. No shot and a lane violation, I think, against Stivers. So the basket does not count, but they have a one-point lead, 19 to 18, with 3.48 to go in our first half of play. Mitchell gives it off to Burnside, back over to Mitchell. Tyler Mitchell trying to make something happen. Gives it off to Bettinghouse. Cross court. Now Burnside for three, and it's good. Three-pointer for Burnside. It's now a two-point lead for Kings. 21-19. Isaiah Williams trying to fit it inside. The ball goes out of bounds. He was trying to find Joey Williams, and the ball is going back to Kings. As Andre Hall is coming back into the ball game for Stivers. Burnside tried to find Mitchell. Ball goes out of bounds. It's going to stay with Stivers. It's going to go back to Stivers. So our turnover there on the inbound. And the Tigers have the ball back. Inbound comes in to Isaiah Williams. Kicks it outside. Joey Williams for three on the wing. No good. Rebounded by Burnside. And he gives it off to Mitchell. Takes it across half court. Mitchell tried to go coast to coast and he's fouled. Andre Halls is first foul. Team's second and shooting two at the line. Tyler Mitchell for Kings. First one's up and good. Second shot for Mitchell. That one's good as well. 23 to 19, a four point lead for Kings with three minutes to go in our first half. As Clark will take the ball at the floor, give it off to Joey Williams. Gives it off to Isaiah Williams. Trying to drive, kicks it back outside, the ball is loose. It's going to be an over the back. Backcourt violation against Stivers and the ball. It's going to go back to Kings as they'll inbound underneath their own basket. Inbound from Bez Brock comes in. The Scheidelman gave it off to Burnside to Mitchell. Jumper in and out. Rebounded by, by Bettinghouse, and he couldn't finish it there. And Isaiah Williams with the rebound. Three pointer is no good. And Tyler Mitchell gets the rebound here for Kings. He's going to take it up the floor. Mitchell, jumper, no good. Rebounded by Halls. 
Over to Joey Williams. Dribbles it back outside. Gives it to Clark for a long three. It's up no good. Rebounded by Dan Scheidelman. Now Bez Brock on the other end. Gets fouled and one on the shot. Fouls on number 12, Miles Clark. His first of the team's third. And a timeout will be taken here by Stivers. 30-second timeout with 2.11 to go in our first half of play. It's Kings 25 and Stivers 19. You're listening to live high school basketball here on CampusNation.com, the sports animal. You're home for high school and college sports. I'm A.J. Ganger. Rick Phillips is out right now cleaning up from our other game this afternoon was men's college basketball between Heidelberg and Wilmington. Again, two more games following this one at 6, approximately 6.30 p.m. Jackson taking on the defending Division I state champions in Huber Heights Wayne. And approximately at 8.15 to close it out, Middletown taking on Wilmington in our nightcap. After the 30-second timeout, we will have another free throw here from Burnside. It is up. It is no good on the end one. Could not complete the three-point play. Rebounded by Bodie. 2.03 to go in the first half. 25 to 19. Kings in the lead. Bodie takes it himself. No good. Rebounded by Dan Scheidelman, who gave it off to Tyler Mitchell. Making his move across half court. Whistle. And a foul. And it's number 10, Mitchell. That's his first and the team's fourth. Miles Clark with the basketball. Throws it off to Bodie Nearly. Another backcourt violation. He'll give it off to Joey Williams. Williams to Halls. Halls drives, goes up, gets it blocked. The ball goes out of bounds and it'll stay with Stivers. Clark will inbound. Trying to find somebody. Throws it up and it's pulled down by Hudson. Who gives it off to Halls. Gives it off to Clark. Clark nearly got it stolen away. Reigns it back in. Gives it off to Hudson. 1-10 to go here in the first half. Clark holds the ball out on the wing up top. Now we're at one minute to go here. Stivers holding the ball. There's no shot clock here in high school basketball. Gives it off to number 32. Bodie will give it off to Hudson. Goes up with the shot. No good, but he's fouled. Number 33 with the foul. Sickleman. His first and the team's fifth. Hudson shooting two. First one's up and good. Second shot for Hudson is up and good as well. 25 to 21 here. 47 seconds to go in the first half. Mitchell. Give it off to Bezbrock. Give it back to Mitchell. Got to get it across half court. Back to Bezbrock. He gets it across. Gives it off. Sickleman falls on the floor. Ball's loose. Joey Williams will scoop it up and throw it off to Miles Clark. Clark to Halls. Stivers moving fast. Halls with the one-hander up and good. Back to a two-point game. Stivers showing pressure here on defense, which is causing some troubles for the Knights. 15 seconds. Mitchell back to Bezbrock. Bezbrock finds Sickleman for two off the glass. Five seconds, Halls takes it coast to coast, no good. Rebounded by Bezbrock. 
And the full court shot is no good, and that's going to take us into halftime. Our score at the end of the first half is Kings 27 and Stivers 23. If you're listening to live high school boys basketball on CampusNation.com, the sports animal, your home for high school and college sports. We'll take a quick break here for halftime. We'll be back for our first half analysis following this break.
begin our score here at halftime in our first game of a triple header here on CampusNation.com. Is Kings 27 and Stivers 23 here at the half in game number one of three. Again, approximately at 6.30 p.m. following this ball game, Jackson taking on the defending Division I state champions. And you Rice Wayne at 8.15, Middletown taking on the 16-1 and Wilmington Hurrian Hurricane here from Fred Summers Court for the second annual Wilmington Scholastic play-by-play -play classic here from Wilmington High School. A couple key stats here from the first half. Leading the way with score uh, for Kings with 12 points is number 10, Tyler Mitchell, with 7 points, Brandon Burnside. And with four points, number one, Dan Sickleman. For Stivers, just seven points for Andre Halls leading the way. And with three points, number 23, Joey Williams. Some notes here from that first half. Isaiah Williams could not get the ball into the post at all. Kings was shutting them off big time there on defense. Both teams were playing pretty good defense. It just seemed like that both teams, uh, you know, there would be times where they would struggle with a couple turnovers, and then the other team would have to take the ball down the court and try to capitalize. But Kings have been playing great defense all game long and shutting down this big man for Stivers in number 15, Isaiah Williams. As he'll be playing in Akron next season, so the big man get a little frustrated. We saw that a little bit there in the first half as well. Also, Stivers, when they turned up the pressure on defense, uh, kind of messed with Kings a little bit. They went to a 2-3 or 2-1-2 zone defense, and it just didn't look like Kings had an answer for him unless they were able to dribble out of the trap and get the ball away. So that's something we're going to have to watch out for here in the second half. We're about three minutes away from beginning our second half of play. Again, our halftime score right now, Kings 27 and Stivers 23 here on CampusNation.com, the sports animal. You're home for high school and college sports, and hopefully Rick Phillips will be back here in time for the second half. Something else we did notice in the first half, and I know probably Roger did too, was Stivers was holding on to the ball quite a bit on their possessions. There is no shot clock in high school. And that's the only reason I think why Kings has been held to 27 points. They just haven't had that, those opportunities to go down the floor and score as much because of all the time Stivers ran off the clock. If time possession was a stat that was really kept in, uh, in high school basketball right now, kind of like football, Stivers would definitely have the lead in time possession for both teams. Looks like they're they're kind of a methodical team. They take their time, they set up their offense, and they try to run their plays, but right now it's just not working for them. So about a minute to go here until the start of the second half. As both teams will switch sides, Stivers was going right to left to begin the ball game. So they'll be going left to right, and Kings will be going right to left. On your computer screens, your iPads, your tablets, your cell phones, anything and everything you're listening to us on this afternoon, here live from Fred Summers Court on a beautiful January the 30th outside. Again, you know, it's, it was 60 degrees when I was coming up here outside in January. It's nearly February, so hopefully the groundhog, I don't remember if it's if he sees his shadow, it's six more weeks. So hopefully he doesn't see his shadow because it's been a beautiful winter so far. Right now, 
Divers will begin with the basketball here to begin our second half of play. Inbound comes in to number 12, Miles Clark. Clark gives it off to Joey Williams. We'll give it off to Bodie. Three-pointer from the wing is up and good right away. It's Divers with a quick three-pointer to open up the second half. And Tyler Mitchell will give it off to Bez Brock. Pressure being turned on by Stivers. Now Mitchell, nice pass to Sickleman. Gets it blocked. No fouls called. Bodie nearly got it stolen away. And it was picked up by Clark who gave it off to Isaiah Williams and then back over to Clark as they reset. Halls with the ball on the wing. Gives it off to Isaiah Williams. Over to Halls. Now back to Bodie. Now over to Halls again. Up on top. Get off to Joy Williams. Down low to Isaiah Williams. He's trapped in the corner. Needs some help. Gives it off to Joey Williams. Now over to Halls, back to Clark. Here over on the right wing. Clark to Halls. Again, running that clock is Stivers here, taking their time, only down by a point, 27-26. Isaiah Williams gives it off to Clark. Clark to number 32, Bodie. Now down low to Isaiah Williams, finds... Bodie again over to Miles Clark. Back over to Bodie. Inside to Williams. Trying to make his move. Jumper, but a whistle is blown and a foul. There's going to be a charge against Williams. That's just his first and the team's first. Not too many fouls as well in that first half by either team. I believe they both ended with at least three fouls. Bez Brock gives it off to Mitchell across half court. Mitchell to Burnside. Burnside to Sickleman over to Bez Brock for three. A long three is no good. Rebound pulled down by Bodie. As we almost got taken out over here. And a foul on the other end of the floor by number... 32, Bodie, second team foul. Mitchell gives it off to Burnside for three, short, rebounded by Halls. Over to Isaiah Williams. Kicks it outside to Joey Williams for three, and it's up and good by Joey Williams. Over here to Burnside. Gives it off to number two, Bez Brock. Step up, jumpers up, no good. The tip is good on the follow up by Burnside. We're tied up at 29 here, five and a half minutes to go in our third quarter of play. Ball's given off to Joey Williams. Three pointer over everybody's up, no good from the wing. Rebounded by Burnside. Gives it off to Mitchell. Take it up across half court. Ball's loose. Stolen away by Joey Williams. Nice pass to Clark. And Clark puts it in for an easy two. And Stivers picking up the defense. Tyler Mitchell with it. Stivers up by two. 31-29. Best Brock. Got a pick. Gives it off to the big man. Betting house back over to Bez Brock. Drives, bucket, no good. Rebounded by Bodie. Here comes Stivers. Isaiah Williams, easy layup for Williams. And Stivers back out to a four point lead now, 29 to 33. 428 to go. Here in the third quarter, Mitchell, jumper, no good. Rebounded by Betting house, the basket and one. Andre Halls charged with his second in the team's third foul of the half. Shooting one at the line will be big number 52, Jake Bettinghouse. Three-point play is completed. As number 23, Freddie, and number 33, Matt Sickleman into the ball game. 
33 to 32. Stivers is in the lead right now with 418 to go in the third quarter. Joey Williams gives it off to Isaiah Williams. Looking to make his move, gives it back to Joey Williams. And nearly stolen away as he gets it off to Bodie and now back up to Miles Clark. Clark gives it off. Bodie over to Halls. Three pointers up and good. Back out to a four point game now with Stivers up 36 to 32. Burnside back to Mitchell. Mitchell takes it up across half court. Gives it back to Burnside. Burnside over to Bredding. Over to Sickleman. Now back to Bredding. Bredding tried to give it off to Burnside. It's stolen away by Bodie. All alone and coast to coast for the easy two. If I was Kings, I would need a timeout right now. Bredding gives it off to Burnside. Burnside to Tyler Mitchell. Nice pass to Sickleman. Dan Sickleman for two. And a full timeout will be taken by Kings with 3.03 to go in our third quarter of play. Stivers 38 and Kings 34. Rick Phillips is finally back into the house here. Midway into our third quarter. I have returned. You missed almost an entire game. <laughs> well, what can I say? How did the men's game go over there, Rick? Uh, they lost. They lost for the second time. Uh, this time at home, obviously. Yeah, the, the men's game uh, it was 91 to, uh, I don't know, 80, no, 70 something. Well, it's 38 to 34. Stivers in the lead at the half. It was 27-23. Kings, uh, you know, Stivers, when they pick up the pressure against Kings in this ball game, it's kind of throwing them off a little bit. We almost got taken out over here. Look, I got a nice little scrape from trying to stop the table. They, they came into the table. Yeah. Sounds like it's been a raucous game so far. Did they affect your camera? See? Nope, his camera's far away. As long as the camera's fine, right? <laughs> it don't matter if I'm all right. Did, did, did you? <laughs> right? <laughs> Shows up after the collision over here on I-75. <laughs> all right, after the timeout by Kings, Miles Clark will bring it up the floor for the Tigers. Gives it off to Joey Williams. Gives it to Bodie. On the wing, trying to find Isaiah Williams. He does out on top. Stivers is also very decisive on offense, Rick. They're taking their time. They're running their offense. Trying to find the right open man for the shot. Isaiah Williams to Joey Williams. Gives it back to Isaiah Williams. 2.25 to go in the third. Gives it off to Joey Williams. Nice one-handed drive by Joey Williams for two. And now it's the biggest lead of the day for Stivers. A six-point lead here, 40-34. to 34. Burnside with it. Gives it off to Matt Sickleman. Burnside to Mitchell. Mitchell got a pick. Oh, man, tried to find a match. Sickleman inside, couldn't stole it away. Other end of the floor now, Halls. Kicks it out to Bodie. Three-pointer from the wing is up and no good. The Stivers team, uh, they're pretty fast. Yeah, they're really fast. Rebounded by Burnside. Takes it coast to coast, no good. Rebound, though, is pulled down by Dan Sickleman, who takes it off the glass for two. How tall is that Burnside? He's pretty tall, it looks like. 6'5". 6'5". Well, that's not that big. Halls with the ball. Gives it off inside. Isaiah Williams goes up, gets fouled. He'll be shooting two. Well, Number 11, Burnside charged with the foul. From a timing perspective, this was about like last year. If you recall, we did a college game, and then we came into the second game at about halftime. So, right. uh, you know. That's the second foul. Charged the number one. First shot's up and good by Williams. 
charge to number one for Kings, Dan Sickleman. Just the first team foul of the second half. Not very many fouls either in that first half. I believe both teams, Kings had like five and uh, three fouls for Stivers, I believe. I would have expected a lot more people inside. There's so many cars outside. I parked all the way down almost uh, to the uh, football field. Second shot was good by Williams. Now Bezbrock has the ball. Takes it across half court. Gave it off to Burnside. Now back to Bezbrock. Working against Halls. Gives it off to Mitchell. Or nearly lost it out of bounds. 42 to 36 under a minute to play in the third. Bezbrock, NBA three is no good. Keenan Williams tried to chase it down. Ball goes out of bounds. White ball. And the ball stays with Kings. Good call, Rick. Inbound comes into Tyler Mitchell. 45 seconds to go in the third. Mitchell, trap, gives it off to Burnside. Three-pointer, no good on that one. And Bezbrock tried to pull down the rebound, couldn't. Hall's step-up jumper. That was good. Now it's an eight-point game with Stivers up 44-36. Keenan Williams with the ball for Kings. The Burnside now back out to Mitchell on the wing up on top. 15 seconds to go in the third. Mitchell to Burnside. Over to Bezbrock. Now gives it off to Williams. Back to Mitchell. Four seconds. Mitchell drives. Ball goes out of bounds. And that's going to do it for our third quarter of play with the score. Stivers 44 and Kings 36. Stivers biggest lead of the game right now with eight points. So, Rick. I was cleaning up everything. Oh, it was fun, as it always is. <laughs> I made sure everything was packed very well, just like Roger expects me to, since he's our technical director, and he makes me pack everything up precisely. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So one more quarter to go here again. Our second game is scheduled to get underway at 6.30 approximately between Jackson and the defending Division I state champions in basketball, Huber Heights Wayne. And approximately 8.15 tonight, also closing it out, will be the middies of Middletown against the 16-1 Hurricane of Wilmington. What are they ranked now in the state, Rick? Sixth. They're ranked sixth in the state, and Wayne's ranked number one. That's right. And I'll be interested to see Wayne, because obviously I will predict that, that Wayne and uh, Wilmington will probably meet somewhere in the tournament, probably in the regionals, beyond the, the district. I think that uh, Wilmington and uh, Muller will meet again in the district as they did last year, and this time I think that Wilmington will defeat Muller. They'll sort of play the turnabout that they did the... Uh, that they did last year to us when we beat them by 15 and they turned around and beat us by three in the uh, and in the districts. At the beginning of the fourth quarter, Clark got the inbound, went straight to the hoop for two points to make it a 10-point game here to open up our fourth quarter. Did you buy any, any tickets, AJ? No. That's Brock to Burnside, now gives it off to Mitchell. I never have cash. What are you talking about? Gives it off. Sickleman, nice layup, good for Kings and Mitchell with the steal. Four he points, foul. He's gonna get a five-point swing here. Pretty good. Good defense by Kings. We've seen them play great defense all day long. They're still selling tickets, aren't they? There'll be a drawing every game. Oh wow! This one's fifty-six dollars for the pot. So we already know that. Yes. Mitchell for the three-point play. It's up. It's good. Nice little turnaround there. Five-point swing. And within 15 seconds for Kings. Isaiah Williams takes it across half court, gives it to Miles Clark, who's trapped. Gives it back to Williams. Over to Joey Williams. Gives it off to Clark. Clark dribbling out on top. 46-41, Stivers in the lead. Isaiah Williams with the ball. Gives it off to Halls. Looks like Middletown is here. 
The 32, Bodie gave it off to Joey Williams. Back to Bodie, but it's stolen away by Besbrock. Other way to the floor. Dan Sickleman, no good on the shot. Rebounded by Isaiah Williams. Gives it off to Halls. Stivers moving fast, now slowing it down. Isaiah Williams with the basketball. Young man playing in Akron next season. Hands it off to Miles Clark. Gives it off to Joey Williams. Gives it back to Clark. Pressure being turned up here by Kings. Back over to Williams. And now Clark will reset here. 6-12 to go in the game. 46-41. Joey Williams finds Hall in the corner for three. In and out, no good. Rebounded by Bezbrock and the Knights. They're within five. Under six to play. Bezbrock kicks it outside to Keenan Williams. Finds Tyler Mitchell. Gives it off to Burnside. Gives it off to Bezbrock. Gives it to Burnside for three. That one is short. Ball goes out of bounds. Going back to the Tigers, and Kings wants a timeout. A full timeout taken by Kings. So what were the records of both these teams? Stivers is 7-8, and eight, Kings is 10-5. and 46-41 here, Rick. Now, Stivers, I believe, they're in the City League. They're in Columbus. A city league in Columbus, is that what we're talking about? No, this is, I thought, Dayton style. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're actually sort of like the art school in Dayton. And I don't know if they still are in the old Stivers building, uh, which would have been on uh, 5th Street, I believe. East 5th, something like that. But uh, that was an old school, so they may have built a new, uh, n new school for Stivers. All right, after the timeout, inbound comes into Clark. Stivers has possession with 5.35 to go in the game. Up by 5, 46-41. Clark to Joey Williams. Try to make something happen. Gives it off to Bodie, who gives it to Isaiah Williams. Big man has not been able to get the ball in the post all game. Oh, five five second. second call. That's something you rarely see in today's day and age, but nobody came over to help him. But Kings has great defense. Yeah, they've been cutting them off. Uh, Stivers has not been able to get inside all game long. Has the Kings been in the zone all night? Yes. Williams back to Bezbrock. Over to Burnside, now back to Bezbrock out on top. Working against Halls, gives it to Williams. Over to Burnside. Kicks it outside. Bezbrock, oh. bucket no good. Rebound. Rebounded by Bodie. Joey Williams, three on two right now. Kings with numbers, it's stolen away by Sickleman. They'll give it off to Mitchell. Takes it across half court. Nice pass inside, oh, and the easy bucket for number one, Dan Sickleman. I like these Stivers uniforms. They're really uh, classy. Yes. Very bright. Thirty-second timeout taken by Stivers. It's forty-six, forty-three. A little 7-0 run right now for the Knights of Kings. Just a program note for our Campus Nation Network, for those of you that listen to us all the time, uh, we've got girls high school basketball this Monday night. It's an unusual, but it's a re rematch or a makeup game uh, between the Hillsborough Indians and the Lady Hurricane. That game will get underway at 645. Once again, that's this Monday on CampusNation.com, the sports animal. Your home for high school and college sports. Monday, Monday, Monday. Four twenty-three to go. It's forty-six forty-three. Stivers with a three-point lead. Isaiah Williams gets the inbound. 
Brings it up past half court. Trap gives it off to Clark. Clark back to Isaiah Williams. Drives. Goes up. Oh, gets fouled in one. Stivers needed that. Ten Tyler Mitchell with the foul. Team second in his second of the game. Give him a little breathing room if they can get up to six points. One shot here for Isaiah Williams to complete the three-point play. It's up. It's good. Six-point lead again here, 43-49. to Burnside gives it off to Williams. Trapped. Ball's loose. A whistle and a foul. Going to be called against Stivers. What you don't want to do is foul and stop the clock and give your opponent the opportunity with the clock stopped. Now they, they're not into the bonus yet, so. Just a second foul. Charged to number 23, Joy Williams. That's the team's fifth. Tyler Mitchell gives it to Bezbrock. Still a two possession game. Over to Mitchell. Jumper, Mitchell, no oh, good, in and out. Rebounded by Joey Williams and the Tigers. That'll give it off to Clark, who will bring it the rest of the way up the court. Gives it off to number 15, Isaiah Williams. I'll hand it off to Joey Williams. 3.25 to go. Bodie gets it to Williams. Isaiah Williams drives, gives it off to Joey Williams, kicks it back outside. Now over to Halls. Running more clock. Isaiah Williams. Pretty. Shot good on the drive. That was a nice little drive. Dropped it right in. 51 to 43, eight-point game. Bez Brock gives it off to Burnside. Goes up with the one-handed and a charge. Going to go against Burnside. So no basket. That's just his first and the team's third. And coming back into the ball game is Jake Bettinghouse, number 52, and number 23, David Bretty. Isaiah Williams with the ball. Dribbling up to court. They'll give it off to Miles Clark. Gonna be trapped. Gives it off. Bodie all alone. Got it blocked, but he's gonna get fouled. Keenan Williams with the foul. And that's the problem when you trap. Obviously, someone is gonna be uncovered. So we got 990 AM ESPN. You going up to talk to him yet? No. Second foul to Williams. Fourth for the team. Shooting to his Bodie. Have you had any of those char-broiled burgers that they're cooking up there that we can smell? Second. First shot's up and good. No, I have not. It's making me hungry. Don't look at me that way, Roger. Second shot. Good by Bodie as well. It's a 10-point game. 53-43. We saved a lot of money. We didn't have to feed Charlie today. <laughs> Williams. Gives it off to Mitchell. Out on top, 2.25 to go. Mitchell throws it off to Bezbrock. Drives, kicks it back outside to Bretty. Back to Bezbrock. Gives it off to Williams. Off to Mitchell. Wasting a lot of time here. Mitchell to Bretty. Nearly stolen away, but Mitchell gets it back. Splits the middle. That was nice. Gives it off to Freddy, and it was blocked from behind, but a foul. Going to have to work quick on this 10-point lead. Brady up and good on the first shot. Dan Sickleman back into the game. Rebound. 
Second one's no good. Williams gets the rebound, though. For Kings inside. Sickleman to Besbrock. Kicks it outside. Wide open three. Mitchell makes his move. Jumper's no good. Rebounded by Halls. And now Isaiah Williams with the ball. Gives it off to Miles Clark. Gives it off to number 32. Bodie inside. Halls easy. Layup for two. Other end of the floor now. Mitchell gives it off to Sickleman. Got it blocked by Joey Williams. Good defense by Stivers. Now Isaiah Williams to Miles Clark here. 11 point game, 55 44. Williams with the ball, gives it back to Clark. 105 to go in the game. Halls gives it back off to Joey Williams, back to Clark, and they're just running clock now. Isaiah Williams try to give it to Bodie. Ball goes out of bounds. And it's going to go back to Kings here with 52.6 seconds to go. Mitchell gives it off in the corner to Breddy. Outside to Mitchell, over to Williams. Drive, nice basket by Williams and a quick timeout by the Knights. 30-second timeout. Unfortunately, I think it's just a little too late. 55 to 46. Tigers of Stivers in the lead right now, Rick. I don't see Marty over there, so I don't see any pie coming. Not yet. Marty's wife said that he was bringing pie. I didn't tell Charlie because I didn't want to break his heart. So, Charlie, if you're listening, forget that I said that. Really, after two minutes, as old as Charlie is, he'd forget it anyway. <laughs> well, it's food. It, he might it, he might keep that in his mind for five minutes. <laughs> 38.6 seconds to go. 55 to 46. Stiver with a nine-point lead. Clark inbounds it to Joey Williams. Gives it back to Clark. Bodie's wide open down here. Gives it back to Joey Williams. And a foul by Keenan Williams. His third. Team's fifth. Thirty-one point nine to go. They're going to have to foul a couple times to be able and to get him to the line. The three-possession game too. Inbound to Bodie. Ball is lost out of bounds. Stays with Stivers. So they didn't call a foul. Comes in to Bodie. Who's fouled by Keenan Williams, his fourth. Team sixth. One more will put Stivers into the bonus. But they'll blow another second and a half to in order to do that. Joey Williams gets the inbound. Well, that There's was only the foul. Four tenths of a second there. A one and one upcoming for number 23, Joey Williams. Just the first foul charge to number 23, Breddy. Team seventh and a one and one upcoming for Joey Williams. First one's up. Good. On the front end. Back up to a 10 point lead. Second shot up and good. Both shots of the one on one good. Tyler Mitchell brings it up across half court for the Knights. Got to start shooting some threes quick. Three, no good. Rebounded by Stivers, Miles Clark. Dribbling around, gives it to Isaiah Williams. And it was, looks like they're gonna let the clock run out here. Okay, no point in fouling now. And that's gonna do it here. Our final score of game one, Stivers 57 and Kings 46. Stivers improving to 800 or 500 on the year at 8-8. Eight eight. Kings will fall to 10-6 on the season. 
We've got about 35 minutes before our scheduled tip-off time for Jackson against Wayne. They're going to do our MVP awards, and I think we're going to go off the air for a little bit, take a break. Right. We'll, we'll take a break, uh, recycle everything. Uh, we have to stop between segments anyway. It has to do with the files on our uh, for the video. And uh, then we'll be back on the air 15 minutes before the next game begins. So all we can say is uh, just stay tuned. This is CampusNation.com, the sports animal, your home for high school and college sports. A.J. Ganger, Rick Phillips, and as always, Roger Thompson doing all the technical difficulties. This day, 13 points. And for Steiner's Tigers, number 15. And number 15, Isaiah Williams will get the MVP nod for Stivers with 17 points. So Maslin Jackson taking on Wayne at 6.30, I believe, is when that game...